Hi traders, welcome to this video about how to select the appropriate pairs for Statarb trading and also how to set the STD multiple uh, in the most efficient way. Um, you can see here we've got a Euro dollar Euro yen ARB um, set up. The uh, lower pane is the STD indicator which shows the spread in light blue and the uh, moving average of the spread in white. Uh, you can see the upper and lower trigger levels in dotted red and yellow. Um, first of all, we need to look at our pair selection. So um, you need to start thinking about correlation here. So you can go to Mataf if you like, www.mataf.net, and you, here you can see uh, multi time frame correlation tables um, going across five minutes tape uh, five minute correlations through to weekly correlations so I would suggest starting at the weekly or daily level and look for pairs which exhibit a correlation over at least eighty so you can see our euro dollar euro yen trade here um, has got an eighty nine correlation on the daily and eighty seven point eight on the weekly, so that's a good candidate to trade uh, from an arbitrage point of view. What you're effectively looking for is um, divergence from the correlation on lower time frames. Um, you can see at the moment on these lower time frames, uh, the correlation is actually lower. So these are potentially scenarios where uh, an arb trade could be made. Um, so that's just, so you need to examine these these tables, or if you feel uh, you don't want to do that outside the MT4 environment, you can go into the FX Algo Trader correlation table, um, which is here, and this allows you to do pretty much the same thing. You can examine the correlation on multi time frames just by simply um, clicking through the charts accordingly. So this is the daily correlation, uh, for the 14, 40 minute correlation, i.e. daily. And you can see the same thing here. Euro, dollar, Euro, yen, 80.31. Okay, traders, we've talked about how we select pairs for um, arbitrage trading. Now we need to start looking at how we define the STD multiple, um, where we trigger our arb trades. At the moment, we've got a Euro, dollar, Euro, yen, um, spread on the lower pane of the chart we can see basically how the spread is swinging around the moving average of, its, of itself um, in a pretty sinusoidal fashion but clearly if we set the STD multiple at something pretty small like um, half a standard deviation we can clearly see that the, the spread is moving miles outside our upper and lower trigger level so that's just from eyeballing we can see that this is no good we're going to be basically uh, ending up with ARBs which are decoupling and, and drawing down on our account uh, too much of course we could uh, hedge that risk out but more on that later so I think I think there's no argument really that we need to increase the SD multiple until we can see the spread swinging nicely within it even at one standard deviation we can still see the spread is is basically moving outside the channel um, a fair amount so let's try 1.5 and see how that looks and that looks a little better uh, I think we could cope with that um, so that's probably what I would use um, another thing which might be of interest is I've been working on a an analysis function which analyzes the spread and looks at how many times it actually touches or penetrates different STD bands. So traders, we're talking about the um, STD analysis indicator which I've been working on. Um, I don't want to talk about it in too much detail but uh, you can see here essentially that the indicator is examining the last 30 hours of data on an hourly chart and it looks back over 30 periods um, and it's telling us that the maximum STD uh, or the maximum divergence from the mean was 3.34 
standard deviations. Um, and we can see obviously how far it's gone and so on. So anyway, more on this once this is a bit more uh, uh, polished. So now we've essentially analyzed the STD multiples uh, and we're comfortable with the way the spread is swinging within um, the channel. Um, we can move on to setting some more uh, advanced parameters within the expert advisor, which, which will dictate how the system will trade and its, its behavior. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a fairly clear idea of how the STD indicator multiple is, is currently set. Um, thanks very much.